Hi you guys, I'm back. Alright, so I figured today I would start off with a little joke. Um, I hope you guys find it as funny as Max and I did. Alright, so if you're looking at the screen, you see who that is, right? So why did Tigger stick his head in the toilet? Because he was looking for poo. <laughs> okay. Sorry guys, I had to lighten it up a little bit for you. Alright, now back down to business. Here we go. Uh, we're talking about Mexico's physical features today. So, this is a physical map of Mexico. Mexico is U.S. neighbors, the United States neighbor to the south. So here's the United States, here is Mexico. There's a latitude line that runs through Mexico called the Tropic of Cancer, right here. Okay, you can see it dashed. Okay, that latitude line signifies that anything south of this is in the tropical zone. That means the climate of Mexico is going to be warm and tropical year-round. Okay, part of the border between the two countries of the United States and Mexico is called the Rio Bravo River in Mexico. We call it in the United States the Rio Grande. But here we go, Rio Bravo, right there. Mexico is mostly surrounded by water. In the west, you have the Pacific Ocean, all over here, and you have the Gulf of California, right here. In the east, you have the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. There are two peninsulas in Mexico. One is Baja California, Remember, a peninsula is a piece of land that's surrounded three sides by water. And the other is the Yucatan Peninsula. Much of Mexico's interior is a high, rugged region called the Mexican Plateau. This plateau is between two mountain ranges. You have the Sierra Madre Oriental, which is the mountain range in the east. And you have the Sierra Madre Occidental, which is the mountain range in the west. To the south of this plateau lies another shorter mountain range called Sierra Madre del Sur. Which I'm pretty sure means in the, del Sur means in the south in Spanish. You guys who can take Spanish can correct me if I'm wrong. Did you guys know that the official name of Mexico is the United Mexican States? Just like our United States of America. There are 31 states in Mexico, whereas we have 50 states in the United States. All right, so the capital of Mexico is Mexico City. It's located like south of the Mexican plateau in between all these mountain ranges. Let me show you a political map and I'll show you where it is. Here it is, Mexico City. Mexico City. All right, back to the physical map. Many mountains surround Mexico City. You can kind of see there's some red areas showing higher elevations. A lot of these mountains are volcanoes. There's a lot of earthquakes in this area too. It's a constant threat around Mexico City. Popocatepetl, if I said that right, um, is the volcano located nearest Mexico City, and here it is at 17,887 feet high. Give you a second to spell that on your notes. All right. From the highlands of central Mexico, the land gradually slopes out down towards the coast. So you can see how it turns green in the map. That shows lower elevations towards the coastal areas of Mexico. These are called coast lowlands. Beautiful beaches stretch all along Mexico's east and west coasts. On the eastern side of the country, this is the Gulf Coastal Plain. It is wide, flat, the soil and climate here are great for farming. The Yucatan Peninsula is mostly flat and erosion here has ca caused a lot of caves, sinkholes, and depressions. Another physical feature in Mexico is called the Isthmus of Tehuantepec, right here. 
Isthmus is a narrow strip of land surrounded on two sides by water. So this is an Isthmus of Tehuantepec. You want to take a second to spell that? Tehuantepec. And it is located between the Bay of Campanche. Did I say that right? Campanche? And the Gulf of Tehuantepec. Cozumel Island is located off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Some of you may have vacationed there. Okay, and let's go back to the political map. Some, there's a lot of major cities in Mexico, but some that you guys maybe have heard of. Well, there's Mexico City, the capital. There's Cancun over here on the Yucatan Peninsula. It's a very big vacation area. There's Tijuana, which is way up here right on the border of the United States, just south of San Diego, California. And there's Acapulco, along the west coast of Mexico. All right, so that's all that should have completed your notes on Mexico's physical features. If you have watched this full video, I want you guys to put a smiley face at the top of your note page. I'll be checking for that tomorrow. All right, have a good night.